launch. Uh, we've got clouds coming in over the coast. From, the start uh, of another cloud sealing mission day. for New Zealander Mike Anstis. He's been piloting flights for the UAE's National Centre of Meteorology for more than three years. Guided by satellite data, he's on the lookout for clouds that have the potential to release heavy rain. Now, cloud seeding isn't for the faint-hearted. Pilots like Mike here have to fly towards turbulent, cumuloform clouds. Once he's in the middle of them, he releases chemicals, which causes a chain reaction. The cloud then becomes really unstable. There are violent updrafts, meaning that the plane has to move away as quickly as possible. After around 20 minutes, we reach our target clouds over the city of Al Ain. A flick of the switch and Mike ignites two chemical flares. Burning away is a mixture of potassium and sodium chloride, salts that bond water droplets which eventually fall as rain. During an average four-hour flight, up to 24 clouds can be seeded at a cost of around $5,000. So what's the return on the spend? Well, according to the center's estimates, if a cloud is successfully seeded, it can increase rainfall by up to 30%. And given that a medium-sized cloud can carry up to 270 million gallons of water, at current prices, one seeding exercise could generate more than $300,000 worth of water. Monitoring operations from Abu Dhabi is Ali Al Masalam. He says although there are empirical examples of cloud seeding's benefits, more research needs to be carried out into its effectiveness. We have a lot of farms here and we are proceeding this cloud seeding over the, the farms also if, if possible, so we get uh, a lot of uh, rain over the farms. And also we're increasing the, the water level in the dams, but we need more time for the, the, the researchers to approve they're increasing the water. Now, some people are concerned that this is actually bad for the environment. Is that true? A lot of people are saying we are, producing, we are producing strong winds, we are changing the climate, but actually, uh, if, we are, if, you, if, we, if you ask the, the scientists, they will say that the climate change is coming by itself, or it's, it needs uh, a nuclear bombs to change this climate for a short period. So our project is using uh, natural soils, so it's, it's doing, actually doing nothing for the climate, but it's increasing the water amount in the cloud. That's it. But for some, like economist Nasser Saidi, the Gulf's sprawling desert might not be the best place to realize cloud seeding's benefits. Well, cloud seeding does give you an addition to your overall water supplies. Typically, you're using cloud seeding when you have large areas that you want to irrigate, such as in the United States for agriculture. We don't have that in the GCC. So it's really a marginal addition to our water supplies, and we need to look at the cost of doing so. Uh, can we retain this water? Do we have the water reservoirs? Uh, do we have the water distribution systems? So questions over cost effectiveness. But in a part of the world where rain events are few and far between, for some, a chance to splash in the puddles is simply priceless.